Alrighty guys, welcome to the first of our five minute Fridays. Today we're going to be working on our impact position and this is generally based towards anyone who struggles with their way through the ball and getting into the flipping position. So pretty much we're going to go over a quick drill that's going to help us out and try and get rid of that through our golf swing. Alright, let's get stuck in. All right, so for this drill, all we're gonna need is a golf club. Probably, I like sticking with a seven iron. It's generally the most comfortable one I find for most of my students that do this, and an alignment stick. All we're gonna do is we're gonna get about half the alignment stick sticking out behind the golf club, just like that. And then we're gonna tuck it in under our left arm for right-hand golfers. If you're a lefty, you're just gonna tuck it in underneath the right armpit. Now, when we're doing this, we're not gonna be hitting any golf balls, because even if we make good contact with them, a lot of the time it's hard to get the club face squared up properly just because we're holding more than just the golf club. So they'll all end up going out to the right. So we're not gonna worry about hitting any of the golf balls. All we're gonna do is gonna get into an, as good of a setup position as we can. And we're gonna take a half to three quarter swing, really just focusing on not allowing this club, this, this uh, alignment stick to whip us on the way through. For all those guys who really struggle whipping the golf club through or flipping your wrists like that, you're gonna find it very, very difficult to do this straight away. So please take it slow. I don't wanna hear anyone going and complaining that they keep whipping themselves or this drill hurts because you try and take a full swing at it and whip yourself in like that. So all you wanna do is you wanna get as good as the setup as you possibly can. Take a nice half to three quarter swing and work on getting all the way through the impact position to about here. Here, it's all, it's all right if it touches you here. We wanna have it rest up against us nice and gently. None of this whacking ourselves in the ribs. So all you're gonna do, we'll do that again. Take a nice three quarter swing, turn through. What this really, really does, it does two things for us. One, helps to us to understand the movement of the body through this golf swing. We wanna make sure that we have a nice level of rotation and that really, really helps us because if our body doesn't move, all we're gonna do is try and overcompensate with our hands and whip ourselves out. The second thing is it really gives you that feedback of being able to get through the golf ball, getting into our nice impact position and turning through. That way we don't wanna be flipping in, adding this extra loft, making it very, very difficult to hit the golf shot in this sort of position. So that's not where we wanna be. We wanna make a nice turn through the golf ball. If you can manage that, you're gonna start hitting much better shots. Now being down in Australia, we have a lot of players who uh, ex-cricketers or current cricketers who want to come and play golf. For you guys with this drill, just be careful. We don't want that nice bent elbow on the way through. We're not hitting, not hitting cricket shots out here. We want to make sure that we're using our body to turn all the way through. If you end up doing this, that's cheating. Not having any of that. Make sure we take a nice rotation, nice turn through. Well, I hope that drill helped you out, guys, in getting you into a much stronger impact position there. Now, remember, even though this drill is designed to help eliminate an error or a fault inside the golf swing, it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to work for everyone. So if you're really struggling, there's no better option than to go see your local PGA professional, go get a lesson from them. They're going to be able to help you out much more than any single YouTube video. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoy the day. Thanks.